maybe not as much because of your secondary income. Yeah. Um, I'll come today with, or whatever, whenever you have your conversation. Um, so I haven't seen it since when the like original tenant stuff was in there, but I think it's nice. Like it's a really nice place, so. That must be kind of pleased for Brenna. Yeah, I think so. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. Today is Monday, and the theme of today's vlog is coming clean. I just came up with that as I was making my lemon water. I'm doing what I will call a poor girl's lemon water. It's with just like, what do you call that? Concentrated lemon juice. <laughs> rather than the real stuff and I just do like mostly room temperature water and then top it up with um, boiling water to make it warm. I wake up most days feeling like a dried up sponge. It's very dry in my house and it's very dry outside. It's winter and I know for a fact I don't drink enough water so I'm starting to do this because the warm like drinking something warm similar to like a tea or coffee you drink it you drink it faster. So that's why I'm doing this. Anyway, I can't believe I'm filming, doing this, gonna talk about this today, but basically I, I feel like I've been living under a cloud. I feel like I've been living under a cloud, living under a film, and I need to like rip off the band-aid, rip off the film, like push the cloud away. I kind of came to a breaking point last week where I was just really sad. I was sad all the time. My, the two people I'm closest to in my life right now are my boyfriend and my best friend Camilla. And they were both telling me like, you haven't spoken to us all week. Like you haven't, we don't know what's going on in your head. You, you haven't talked to us all week. Like I've been hanging out with them. I've been around them, but like I haven't said anything. And when I retreat inwards like that, it's because I'm just really unhappy. Like, you know when I'm happy because I can't stop talking. Unless I'm vlogging, then I can't stop talking no matter what. But my friends know when I'm in a good mood because I literally can't stop talking. I'm very excited, whatever. So, yeah. Last week, I woke up one day, I was in the shower, and I just started sobbing. And it was, I was, it was just like... I'm not happy. I'm not happy. This isn't the life that I want to be living. Everything on paper in my life is perfect, but I'm not happy. I have a great job, great friends, great apartment, great dog, like everything. I got a car, but I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. And here's the truth, you guys. I wake up every morning thinking about work I go to sleep at night thinking about work. And sometimes I dream about work. And while I really like my job and I really like the stuff I'm doing, being a part of this small three person team and the pressure that I feel, it's just not, like I'm not gelling with it. It's not good for me. And it's hard to be in this situation again where I'm just like, okay, work's not making me happy because sometimes I'm like, oh my God, like I'm meant to just go work on a beach and make smoothies all day and I'll be happy. You know, that's like, sometimes I, th I think that way. But I also know that I'm a very smart and very capable person. And I just, I, it's like, I just, I, I need to find a way to, to apply it. But this constantly thinking about work, this constantly checking my slack, this constantly like not feeling like I'm doing enough it needs to stop. And I never said anything to my bosses because I felt like admitting it, I would be weak. Um, I would be like highlighting a problem that maybe they don't know is there. But I've started to realize like they definitely know it's there. We're a three person team. They've seen me on my great weeks. They know that lately it's, I've not been performing my best. Like they, they have to know. And so they haven't said anything, but I do have this feeling like it's coming. 
So I've decided to be proactive and today I am going to book a conversation and talk to them and basically just come clean about how I'm not feeling okay, I'm not doing okay, and it's affecting my work. Like, it's not their fault that I think about work all the time. It's my anxiety that causes me to be like this. So I don't know what the solution is. I don't know what they're gonna say. I don't really know what I want, but I need, you can't get help and things can't get better unless you start by admitting it to yourself and then you have to admit it to those people that can make a change. Maybe in some situations in your life, it's only you that can make a change. Like maybe you have this feeling like you need to break up with the person you're dating and like you, you have to realize it and then you go tell them. But when it comes to work, it's like you have to be honest with your manager that you're not feeling okay. And like hopefully you guys can come to a solution together. So I'm terrified. I hate talking about my feelings at work, which is funny because I love talking about my feelings on YouTube and I will happily talk about my feelings with my friends. But at work, I've just been so conditioned over the years to like turn off my emotions at work, turn off my feelings at work. How you feel doesn't matter, you're at work. Um, and I think that comes from like having that instilled in me by like parents, family members, because they come from that previous generation that's very like rigid and like don't bring your shit into work and blah, blah, blah. Um, and having been told in the past at work, like stop crying, you're too emotional, like suck it up, you're too sensitive. Like having been told that repeatedly, um, throughout all the jobs I've had starting at like a part-time job to whatever um, That has made me Fear telling the truth and like telling telling my truth about how I'm feeling but I've decided I'm gonna do it Because I need to because I'm slowly drowning. I'm not happy. I'm like I'm 25 years old I have everything under the Sun that a person could wish for and I want to enjoy it I want to enjoy it. I want to be happy. I deserve to be happy. Everybody deserves to be happy. Um, so as scary as it is to reach out for help, that is what I am doing. And to be completely frank, I don't know if they're going to let me go. I don't know if they're going to let me go part time. I don't know if maybe what I need is just a few weeks off to like gather myself. I really don't know. Um, you know, it's a hard time of year. I suffer from the seasonal stuff every year and I thought I like beat it this year because it's better because I'm not crying every single day like I was last year but just because you're not crying doesn't mean you're like actually okay and yeah so I need to go start work that is my very long intro to this video of like what's going to be happening today along with coming clean um, last night I stayed up really late just cleaning my apartment because I just feel like I need to like clean everything. I rearranged some stuff in my kitchen. Um, I'll show you guys later. I rearranged some stuff in my bathroom. Today I need to do laundry. I also have work to do, <laughs> a lot of work to do. So we're gonna start with that. We're gonna go to my desk and get to work. But yeah, this is gonna be a fun vlog and I think it's gonna be an interesting one because I'm literally just being so freaking transparent with you guys so i hope you like it if you're new this this is what we do over here welcome to my desk it's a disaster i'm gonna start up my computer nice so it is a busy week for so many reasons the number one reason is because my bosses are going um, they're both taking off like two weeks for Christmas. So this is actually the last week I have with both of them in the office technically. I'm not taking time off over Christmas because um, <laughs> I don't have any vacation days left. So uh, yeah, I somehow managed to use them all up. Um, but yeah, we have like, we're wrapping up all of our client work this week. Everything's basically coming to a close this week. I also need to do my agenda my agenda guys i'm like this agenda is almost done because 2021 is almost done like what the heck um i really liked this agenda and every year around this time it's like oh my god gotta find a new agenda so gotta find a new agenda comment below if you know of a good agenda 
brand. I was thinking Passion Planner, but the one I wanted was sold out, so we'll see. Um, yeah, so also because it's Monday morning, I want to just make my schedule. I want to plan, like, when am I going to spin? When am I going to yoga? Um, all of that stuff. How do I look? Not, not good, not it. I've been crying. It's 1.20. Um, yeah, the conversation has been had. It was very difficult and things turned out not as I expected. I will share with you guys so soon, but I just, I can't go into the details right now because I will literally keep crying and I need to get on with my day. So yeah, I'm taking the rest of the day off work. Um, I just saw my slack go off. I'm taking the rest of the day off work just to like recoup. I've decided to go to Ottawa to be with my family. I have some errands that I need to do there and just something about being close to your family when you're sad, at least for me, I find really comforting. But before I leave, I want to clean up my house, make sure everything's like in a good standing so that when I come back, I feel good. So first things first, I want to do laundry so that it can like go through its cycle um, while I clean up everything else. And this is so stupid, but I've been re-watching Selling Sunset like from the beginning. It's so like terrible, but so good. So I'm gonna play Selling Sunset in the background and get my laundry started. My bed is made, <laughs> but it's an absolute disaster. Sometimes I forget to change my sheets. Like I know people have it in their routine to change it like every week, not me. And this dog sleeps in my bed. So we're gonna change my sheets. So I'm going to be washing a more heavy duty load. I'm gonna be doing my white bedding and then I have some like sweatpants and I have a bath mat that needs to be washed. So I'm doing all whites. Now, so exciting. This video is sponsored by True Earth Laundry Detergent. This stuff, you guys, has changed my life and it makes me so happy to talk about. Even happier to talk about is this, okay? It is a huge box of True Earth 384 loads. This is the annual pack. So what are True Earth laundry strips? Now, you may have heard me talk about them before. You may have seen their ads on Instagram or on Facebook. That is how I first discovered them. And then my dad bought a pack. I'm actually, don't tell him. <laughs> I'm going to be buying him some for his Christmas gift because he loves them. Everyone who tries these loves them. So right here, these are two laundry strips. So just one is all you need for a load. You rip it up and throw it in your laundry machine and it washes your clothes. Now, this is so much more eco-friendly than having those big plastic jugs. So those jugs are made with a concentrated soap and the rest is just water and then in that plastic jug. So when you compare that to just using a laundry strip, not to mention you get a really great clean with these. I love the scent. This is the eco-friendly way to go and I seriously love it. Like I said, you guys, this is the annual pack. I think for me, it will last me even more than a year. Um, and this just makes me so happy to have all of your laundry strips so compact in this. You don't have those ugly plastic jugs lying around. These just fit really nicely on top of my laundry machine and it's perfect. So like I said, they clean super well, they're eco-friendly, they are affordable, and True Earth also has other products on their website for the whole laundry cleaning routine to make it eco-friendly. Like I mentioned, those are the platinum ones. I also have the regular ones that I use for just regular clothing washes, but I love the platinum ones when I really need to get like extra dirt out. Like I said, you guys, my dog sleeps in my bed. Sometimes her paws are a little gross. So let's throw all of this in the washing machine. Can you guys believe this? In the two minutes that I was standing there, <laughs> this happened. So I'm gonna separate this because it's too dark and I really just wanna wash whites. I don't think I'm gonna put my dog through the washing machine. I don't think that's the right thing to do. 
So I have shoved everything in there. There's actually this towel too. Will it fit? Okay, this is stuffed. Because it's such a big load, I'm gonna use two laundry strips. I just rip them up and then throw them in to the machine. I'm gonna put this on heavy duty and then I always wash with cold water. You guys, so I, I just looked, checked on my laundry and it went up and now it's saying two hours left. And frankly, I don't feel like waiting two hours because I'm just like, I just wanna go. It's a beautiful day. It'll be nice for driving. So I'm just gonna go. I know it's not good to let your laundry sit, but I'll just rinse, put it through a rinse cycle uh, when I'm back tomorrow and it'll be fine. Probably wasn't the best planning on my part, but it was really bothering me having all this laundry. I still have so much left to wash and uh, I don't know, does anyone else, sorry, okay, I'm being disgusting. Um, does anyone else feel that way when your laundry builds up? It's like, if your laundry is building up, I don't feel like I have my life together. Anyways, I'm packing my stuff. I've already packed my outfit. I'm grabbing my book, reading Harry Potter. I'm gonna put my computer in my bag as well. Um, I just need to put socks on and hit the road. I do wanna show you guys like a little apartment update just because it's so clean right now. And yeah, I'm just excited. Like I'm excited to leave and then come back to a clean place. So this is my living room. That chair used to be in the corner, but obviously now my Christmas tree is there. It lights up. We have some presents under the tree already. Some presents are in there and those are also boxes that I'm just gonna use to um, wrap. And then I have some of the cutest ornaments ever. In the office, nothing has changed. But in the kitchen, I made some slight changes. So I actually started putting my recycling under the sink so that all there is left is the trash can. Eventually, I would like to find a way to hide it, but I don't know. Um, and the compost is under here. So it looks just a lot less cluttered in my kitchen and it's like so clean. This is some stuff I have to return. Um, I got this last night at a gift exchange with my friends, unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. How cool is that? And then the last thing I changed last night was, I don't know if I ever really showed my bathroom in vlogs, but I used to have my shower organizer like sticking out on the side here because it was too tall. But I ended up rigging up this contraption with like an old tea container. So now it fits on the inside and it's just way less cluttered. There was so much like soap and dust in here. I cleaned it all last night so that I can just close my shower curtain and it looks way, way less cluttered in here. Eventually I would like to get like a linen shower curtain and like change the bathroom shower organizer. But I'm trying to just remind myself like, those are just like frivolous spends and those are the kind of things that always keep on recurring and it's like one time you don't like your shower curtain then you don't like your bed sheets then you don't like this and so that just keeps you in this constant spending mindset because it's this mindset of like what i have is not good enough i need to fix it so i'm trying to cut that habit by being like my shower curtain's fine sure it's not the cutest but it's also not the ugliest it's not broken so i'm just gonna keep it is it bad that i'm leaving my laundry in and leaving for a day I don't know. Hmm. Need to get comfy because we have about a two hour drive to get to Ottawa. This is my second time doing the drive alone. Um, like I did it there and back by myself, but this is like second time going there i feel like pretty good and pretty confident if i'm like stressed or too like frazzled it's not good for me to drive but i feel like in a weird way driving is exactly what i need right now just to like be on the open road kind of feel like i'm outside see the blue skies um yeah so i packed um i made myself a coffee an iced coffee because that's what I was feeling and then I packed myself some snacks I'm gonna 
Oh, we're losing light. I'm gonna take them out. I made, um, I just cut up a whole cucumber and I grabbed my container of hummus because I feel like this is easy kind of driving food and I didn't want to fall into like the fast food buying food trap. Um, so yeah, so let's go. I cannot vlog and drive. Maybe when I'm on the highway, I can get some B-roll, but till then, see you in Ottawa. Good morning. Ooh. <clears throat> I think a lady in her car was just laughing at me. Um, it's the next day. I'm running some errands for my mom. I need to go get my car looked at, you know. Okay, take two of this. <laughs> when I stepped out of the car, this lady was like laughing at me and I got stage fright. But anyway, my mom <laughs> asked me to go pick something up from her for her at Canadian Tire. And now I'm on my way to go get my car looked at. Um, so it's a very like errands running day. And then I'm just gonna drive back to Montreal. I'm not working today either. Um, but it kind of just feels good to have this time off to like get some shit done. If you guys can see across the parking lot there, there's a Starbucks drive through I'm gonna make my way over there. I'm sure I have some viewers who live in Ottawa and I love you guys, okay? No offense. But Ottawa is such a basic city. It's like known for just being basic. And when I come home, I like to just embrace the basicness. Like in Montreal, I never go to Starbucks because we have so many other good coffee shops. And Ottawa does too, don't get me wrong. But I just like to embrace the basicness when I'm here. So I'm gonna go get a caramel macchiato. My car is gonna go in there and get fixed up. Hey guys, I am back home now, as you can tell. I'm having a bit of a lazy morning. It's still quite early, having such a good day so far. I have so much work to do, but I just really needed like a chill morning to settle back in at home. I walked over this morning to Westmount and went to a bar class. It was really good. Came home and just like showered, lotion, you know, all of that stuff. Um, and I'm re-watching Selling Sunset still. I, no, that was already in this vlog that I mentioned that. So yeah, I'm still going on with the Selling Sunset. So last night, you guys, I need to show you what I did. I did something crazy. <laughs> I bought a new computer. Um, I bought a new MacBook Air. So my old computer is like a 2013 MacBook Air. I've had it for so long and it can no longer do what I need it to do. Editing videos on it takes forever. I have to chop vlogs into like three parts to get them done because there's just no storage left on the computer. Like that poor computer <laughs> is burnt out. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it yet cause like I have a lot of sentimental attachment to it it's like how i started my youtube channel like my new youtube channel because throwback if anyone remembers i had a youtube channel when i was in high school um you know like it came to australia with me it has all kinds of stickers on it so yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i'll probably hold on to it for a little while and then end up donating it because it still works for like the average user um so that's like a nice thing to be able to donate so yeah, so I need to set up this new computer. I'm gonna do it later today though. Um, I'm just like, I'm not ready yet. I know that's so weird. I have lots of little tasks to do. I made um, just like a list on my phone. <laughs> There's lots to do. Anyway, I am so hungry. I can't start anything unless I get some food in me. So I'm gonna make a coffee, make breakfast, and then get to work. My laundry is currently being redone. Um, and you guys, this is so embarrassing, but I ended up putting my duvet in the laundry. Like I forgot to take the duvet cover off. That's how like distracted I was. Like you guys remember I said like I was a bit upset. Obviously I wasn't in the right headspace because I left the duvet cover 
on the duvet and stuck everything in the washing machine so i think it's actually for the best that it's getting a third wash and i had to kind of just like close my eyes and do it in warm water this time because i was like okay since there's so much in here um and since i left it overnight it kind of started to smell i was like we're gonna do a warm cycle and that's it so how embarrassing to have a sponsored video by a laundry brand and you know i messed up my laundry but hey i'm human it happens doesn't mean i love true earth and their laundry strips any less okay i'm gonna head over to the kitchen um and then catch up with you guys later i feel like in the ending of this vlog i'm just i'm just spitballing here i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna make my bed tidy up the apartment and it's just gonna be a cozy getting work done kind of day Hi guys, I'm just sitting on the couch getting work done. It's funny, you can see my boyfriend in the back. This is probably the first glimpse of him besides that one photo that you guys have seen. So there he is. You can also see my laundry hanging back there. It's all drying. Everything looks good, it looks clean. I love how bright the whites get when I use the premium strips. I find they get a little bit brighter, like a little bit cleaner looking than with the regular strips. Um, so yeah, I was just checking my emails and stuff and I remembered, I totally forgot to mention to you guys because, you know, I like to keep you informed of all my finances. <laughs> um, when I bought the computer yesterday, I actually decided to finance it and I want to explain a bit about why because I don't want you guys to be like, what the fuck, she just like, pardon my French, she just dropped like $2,000 on a new computer. No, I did not. Um, I really needed a new one. This one, like I said, is on its last legs. And I wanted to try financing it because with Apple, you have one year of like zero interest financing through Paybrite. So it's pretty much like risk-free. It ended up being $140 a month. Um, and it's literally just the cost of the computer divided by 12. I had to pay the taxes up front and then the rest is on monthly payments starting next month so it's pretty cool i'm going to pay off the computer over a year now what's the catch because i've always been weary about those like buy now pay later things i'm pretty sure the catch is just like what they want you to do is end up not paying like i can reduce my monthly payments if i want to if i don't want to pay the 140 i can pay less but that's where the interest comes in and so that's where they make their money so as long as i just pay that amount which will be automatically deducted from my credit card every single month on the 14th um there's there's really no problems and so what's cool is that like because it's for youtube i get to write it off as like a monthly sort of business expense so it gives me a bit of a tax break but yeah that's how i am able to afford it right now because with the holidays and everything it's definitely not something that i can afford but yeah i don't know that's uh something new that i'm trying it's not something i want to get in the habit of but seeing as like i actually needed it not in the way that we need new clothes or whatever <laughs> i figured i would give it a try so you guys the day is ending uh my good mood is starting to like waver a little bit i'm starting to get a bit grumpy i don't know why maybe it's too much caffeine <laughs> maybe it's the fact that the sun went away but basically all that i'm gonna do the rest of the day 
is nothing. <laughs> um, I have to put away my laundry, of course, but I just need everything to dry, especially that I messed up and washed my duvet. Like, I feel like that's gonna take a while to dry. So I'll probably end up sleeping at Camilla's house tonight because I'm going over there for dinner. She doesn't know that I'm planning to sleep over, but I'm gonna spring it on her at dinner. And I have therapy tonight. It's been actually a while since I've had therapy. I kind of just like got too stressed to go to therapy, which is so stupid, but it's something that happens. And uh, given, you know, I just was like, okay, there's no such thing as too stressed for therapy. Like that means you extra need to prioritize it. So I booked a session with her tonight and that's at five o'clock, which is in a few hours. So that's what's on the agenda, but I'm gonna close this video here. It was all over the place, super random, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and spending a few days with me. It's so much fun for me to spend time with you and I hope it's time for you, fun for you to spend time with me. Okay, thank you again to True Earth for sponsoring. You guys, if you want to level up your laundry game, have more sustainable laundry detergent that works so well, check out True Earth down below. And with that being said, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.